Um, but uh, very happy to be here and to go over some stuff with you tonight about mobile apps. Um, obviously, you guys all see the opportunity in it, and uh, there's just so much that you can do with it. Uh, that we're going to go over some strategies to uh, to sell some mobile apps and the way to go about it and how to be efficient and to uh, start bankrolling with it. Um, so let's just go over real quick quickly what we're going to cover tonight in the webinar. You know, as Lee said, the most valuable piece of real estate is a mobile app, a mobile website, basically anything mobile, and how we can capitalize on that. We're also going to cover the easiest ways to siphon pretty much unlimited leads uh, no matter what niche you're going into, um, there's going to be ways that I'll show you to, to draw in those leads. Also, the fastest way you can build a mobile app, and there's going to be a surprise you're going to want to tune into at the end on you know, how we can view that, so stay tuned for that. Also, we just want to flip the switch and, uh, and get you earning. A lot of people are still uh, going through trying to figure out how to get clients and how to close clients, and with the training tonight, we'll be able to help. Now, just a quick background on me. I started back in the day doing internet marketing back in high school, selling bootleg VHS tapes and CDs. This was before the days of YouTube. YouTube didn't come out until 2005, so this is like early 2000s, where there was the internet, but there wasn't any kind of live concert footage on the internet. And that was in really high demand. So I had my VHS tapes and CDs that I was selling, and that's kind of how I cut my teeth with internet marketing. And I continued that through eBay and through ebooks all through college. You know, after that, I followed the traditional path. Everyone told me, well, you've got to get a job now that you graduate college. And I didn't follow the path of entrepreneurship. Um, you know, for better or for worse, I didn't do that straight out of college. I ended up working for the Ford, Ford Motor Company, traveling the country, and also Verizon Files as a regional manager, which was great. I had a great, great experience, and uh, I wouldn't trade that for anything. However, after a while, I needed to make a change. And it wasn't until I started uh, selling television, TV advertising, that it hit me I needed to do what I love. I was going in talking to business owners, and most of the feedback I would receive would be, you know what, thank you for coming in with this, thank you for your time, but we need something that can give us more metrics. With a TV advertisement, you're just blowing it out to the masses, and it's really tough to, uh, to give a return on investment. Um, and my heart wasn't in it. I was meeting with these business owners, and time and time again, they were telling me how they were looking for uh, something else, something that would give them a better return on, on investment. So that's when I kind of took the leap, and I applied what I'd learned from internet marketing through selling my own VHS tapes and making my own ebooks throughout the years, because I had the knowledge and took the leap and started full time as an internet marketer. You know, unbeknownst to my friends and family, they thought I was crazy. I knew it was something that I needed to do, and that's when things really took off for me. Now, what I do now, um, in the last few years, I've grown my business by leaps and bounds uh, faster than any of my family or friends would have ever guessed. I've worked with some New York Times best-selling authors, some prestigious colleges and universities, athletes. I mean, it's amazing the people that you can get associated with um, just by helping with, with their overall web presence and, and helping them grow their business. Now, we specialize in premium mobile services, search engine optimization, video marketing, pretty much the whole gamut. We find out what their pain points are and become their go-to consultant. Now, as of recently, mobile is very, very hot, and that has been uh, one of our main services that we provide. And I've helped train and teach over 5,000 internet marketers about offline marketing over the last few years. And it sounds like I'm bragging, and I hate to sound that way, but I just want to let you know that what I do works, and what we're going to cover tonight, you'll be able to replicate that success and get the ball rolling for you. Now, the mobile app opportunity. Gary Vaynerchuk, he is a big wig social media guy. You guys might have heard of him. Um, in a recent interview last month, he said, I think there is nothing more important than mobile. The home screen is absolutely where you need to be. And when it comes to mobile apps, there's no bigger opportunity to get on that piece of real estate and stay there. Just to kind of lock in that point, here are a few stats for you. Um, an estimated 1.2 billion smart devices will be purchased in 2013. Over 50 billion apps have been downloaded just in the last year. And I like this stat. Over 97% of people have their smartphone within 
arm's reach at all times. Uh, now, just real quick with everyone out there, you have your smartphone within arm's reach. Go ahead and let us know. Sean, while we're answering that, I'm actually going to upgrade you to an organizer. So I didn't want to do that in case there was a little pause there. Okay. Hello, Sean. Okay, now I'm seeing Paul. He says yes. There we go. Rex said yes. Tom we got yes. tons of yeses. Said, yep, Rick said right next to me. Uh, I mean, even when I'm sleeping, my phone is charging right by me. And the first thing I do in the morning is check my email and, and messages. It's just become part of our culture, and it's not going away anytime soon. The, the other stat is over $20 billion has been paid out to mobile app developers. And this isn't over the course of the last three decades or even two decades. Mobile apps have only been around for about 10 years or so. Um, there's been over 250% growth year after year in the Android marketplace, and Apple has over 400 million user accounts with their credit card on file. I mean, that's powerful information that you really can't ignore. Now, when it comes to the opportunity to cash in with mobile and with uh, local businesses, the majority of businesses don't have a mobile app. It's kind of like the gold rush with building websites for businesses, only right now it's in the mobile app realm. The thing is, most business owners don't have the time to research. They don't have the understanding. They know that they need to find a solution and realize that to stay competitive, they need to expand their services into mobile. Now, mobile apps have an extremely high perceived value to have your app listed in the Android marketplace or the Apple store and to be able to connect with your customers in that way. Uh, they see the extreme value in that. Now it depends on what city, what niche you go in, and there's a huge variation in what you can charge, but typically you can get between $500 up to $5,000 for a mobile app that you can create realistically within a day. On top of that, you can charge between $50 to $350, if not more, monthly for a maintenance package. And that includes modifying the apps, sending push notifications, creating analytic reports that go straight to your client client month after month. Now let's just take a second here and uh, consider the following. You know, after tonight's training, it would be more than attainable to sell four apps within the next month with the strategy I'm going to show you. If you were to do that and just say on the conservative side between five hundred and five thousand dollars, we sell an app for a thousand dollars. That's four thousand dollars app income. And then if you go ahead and charge them that monthly residual fee, that's $600 monthly or $7,200 a year, which is not bad cash, especially for the amount of time that you put into it. You can provide value instead of hours, and that's something that gives you more, more freedom in your business. Now, let's say you're ambitious, and that first month, you're like, this is great. Uh, you know, I sold four apps. Let's turn this up a notch. Let's bring on virtual assistant, let's bring on somebody else, or you know, I'm going to dedicate myself full time to doing this. That's $8,000 in that month, or in addition, $1,200 residual monthly income, which turns out to be $14,400 a year. So you know, results aren't typical. You're going to have to put the work in, but I just wanted to kind of give you an example of what could potentially happen when you put your mind to it and, and actually go for it. It's really an incredible build-up, Sean, because you know that you, you're just talking about one month there. So if you, if you did that over a period of a year, you know, if, if you just did exactly what you're talking about, you would build your way up into a very, very nice income like that. Yeah, absolutely. And the, and the cool thing about that is it's just for mobile apps. I mean, if you're in the offline space, you know that business owners need much more than a mobile app. But oh, absolutely. That's the starting point, and, and that's the foot in the door along with mobile websites and a lot of other services that they absolutely need. Um, but we can talk about making money and crunching numbers all day, but when it comes down to it, you need the leads to get the sales. There you go. Now, keep them, you can use this strategy uh, for pretty much any kind of service. But when it comes to mobile apps, I've found this to be really, really helpful, and it works like gangbusters. And for this example, we're going to use a food truck. I'm sure you guys were wondering what that craft food truck was doing down there. Um, now, the reason why I chose food truck 
uh, the food truck industry as an example was for a couple of reasons. One, it's a lot easier to find a decision maker for a food truck because it's pretty much a, a, a smaller team. You know, I haven't come across many food trucks that have more than, you know, five, six, seven, to up to a dozen staff. Um, it's an industry that almost requires a mobile app. Their entire business is built on four wheels. And for a mobile app, it's almost critical that they have one to keep in contact with their customer base. In three, there's almost a limited amount of leads. Food trucks are a huge trend now. In any city you go to, there's going to be uh, a food truck, a food truck association um, that will need this presence. So where to get the leads? I discovered a search query, and I know there's a lot of lead scrapers out there. There's a lot of programs, and I have some, and I still use some, but I found something very simple to do, and it has variables that you can swap out for a lot of different results that will harvest some beneficial leads and get you in contact with that decision maker. And as you can see here, it's basically you copy and paste this into your Google toolbar, and for example, I would put Facebook food truck at Gmail. So what that's going to do is search all of Facebook for any page listed with a food truck and list their Gmail address. And again, you can change Facebook to a different site like Twitter or LinkedIn. Um, you can change food truck to a different niche like uh, Italian restaurant or lawyer. Uh, and you can change Gmail to at yahoo.com at whatever you want. So that really opens up the amount of leads that you'll be able to pretty much copy and paste and get a hold of quickly, which is important. So as you can see with the food truck example, just on Facebook alone there's over 65,000 results. Not every single one of those will be a viable lead, but the majority of them will. And it takes you how long to click through and see that you're getting a hold of a viable lead through the food truck industry. Um, so with 65,000 leads just for Facebook, you can imagine what you can do if you replace one of the variables to Yahoo or Hotmail or change the niche or change the site. So that's been one thing that I've done to really harvest a lot of leads and uh, get a hold of the people you need to get a hold of quickly. Now, in addition to that, another reason why uh, I chose food trucks is because often there's plenty of clubs and associations and organizations that uh, band together. So, for instance, if you type in food truck association, as you can see right here, you have the New York City food truck, the Western New York food truck, the New another New York City, D.C. There's a lot of results here, and basically you can tap into that and kind of skip the whole going around and copying and pasting a bunch of emails because they'll all be listed on that one site. And you can frame it so that you're positioning yourself, uh, targeting just food trucks, and you're doing a special. And there's a lot of different cool things you can do to frame your offer. Sean, can I say one thing real quick? Because I want to make sure that everybody understands how cool that was, that one thing that you just heard, because uh, uh, I remember um, um, seeing this for the first time and thinking, wow, that is really, really cool because when there's something that I haven't thought of, I, I am deeply impressed. And this whole idea of finding associations for various businesses because there's zillions of them, I, I hope you're taking notes because that, that is a killer, killer tip right there. I just got excited, right. Sean. Sorry. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you for chiming in, Lee. And I, I totally agree. And I've been doing it for so long, sometimes I forget that uh, you know it's, it, it is a powerful um, lead gen opportunity. Absolutely. And, you, know, you, you can frame your offer saying, you know, we're, we're giving the New York City Food Truck Association a discount and we can do this for the next 24 hours and there's a lot of different ways to frame it. Now, as far as the message, that's what we're going to go over next. What to say? You have all the leads now. What do you contact them saying? And pretty much for every niche that I prospect, I use a similar subject line um, and I customize it as much as possible. I want to give it a personal feel. I don't want it to come off as one big spam message. And to make it personal, it goes a long way. And it will get your email opened, it will get your email read, and you're more than likely um, going to elicit a response. Now, a few tips to remember before crafting your message is that you actually mail out to your prospect. 
You got to be concise and to the point. Nobody wants to read a huge paragraph or multiple paragraphs go on and on and on about the benefits of the mobile app. I run an offline business, I get those emails. I get emails for mobile apps and search engine optimization and they come from all over the world. And as soon as I see the subject line, I know what it's about. And none of them take the time to personalize. None of them take the time to just be laid back and casual and personal. And I think that's a, a lost art, is just being able to connect with somebody. Granted, it's through email. Those little details go a long way and get me sky-high open rates and response rates. So if you know a little bit about the person, which you should, because in different niches you'll be able to find the name of the business owner, just add a few lines about their food truck, about their location, about different things like that, and, and be casual about it. Don't say, you know what, I, I saw that you don't have an app, or your site sucks, you're losing a ton of money. Um, don't take the fear approach. Instead, just be very casual and say, you know, I noticed you didn't have an app, so I went ahead, I created one for you. If you'd like to check it out, cool. If not, you know, best of luck in your business. And with that, people can read people pretty easily. And through a very relaxed email, they're not going to feel pressured for a sale. Um, they're going to feel the law of reciprocity because you already put the work in to create an app for them. And they're going to want to see the work that they've done. I mean, they're business owners, and they take pride in what they do. And if you took the time to create something for them, they're going to want to check it out. So real quick, let's go over the four steps. The four steps are pretty simple. Step one, carefully select your niche, whether it's a food truck or uh, whether it's a locksmith, which has another high demand. I mean, all small businesses have a need for a mobile presence, but some will be easier to sell than others. Second one, collect and contact through the process I showed you through that Google search query, and you'll be able to harvest as many leads as you'll need. I mean, 65,000 just for food trucks on Facebook, that will take you a while to go through, and that's only the tip of the iceberg. Step three, build and showcase your goods. Once you find a professional uh, niche to go after in a template, just basically modify the app to create the general layout that you'll use for all the different companies you're going for in that niche. It's going to save you time, it will save you money, and you'll have something ready to go. When somebody does respond, you can create that app within a matter of minutes and send them back a demo and then go from there to close them. Now step four, once your prospect sees the demo, the mobile app, they'll see the value. They'll see how it can help them in your other business. They know it's something they need to do. And once they're locked in, it's only the, the beginning for helping the business with everything mobile and internet related. Like Lee and I were talking about earlier, um, it's a foot in the door, and with the income you can generate just from selling a mobile app, there's a lot more that you can do to help that business and to find their pain points. Sean, one thing I love about these steps is it's a lot like what AJ and I do in terms of how we break things down for people into steps that are doable, they're repeatable, but they're also scalable. This is... Uh, this is an easy series of four steps, and that is great, actually, building that, showing it to the business owner. That is really good stuff. Yeah, what do you all think, guys? Rick says this is great stuff. Any Anybody else thinking this is cool? Because I'm thinking this is really cool. Yeah, BJ says it's awesome. Yeah. Good, good. No, and if I'm going too fast, please let me know. Um, you know, I can slow it down a little bit, and I'm kind of new to the webinar. I don't do very many, but um, with this kind of information, people have really responded well. And uh, I'll show you later how people have really just cashed in with, uh, with mobile apps and done really, really well with it. Excellent. I'm excited. Now, as far as building the app, there are several options to building out the mobile app. You can hire a developer, which would take you know, at least two weeks and thousands of dollars uh, to do and to develop overseas. There's plenty of free app builders out there. And a lot of them aren't as professional. Some of them are just basically uh, HTML apps, web apps. They have company branding on them. They're unable to send push notifications. So as far as being professional with, uh, with your client, it's not really the way to go. 
Um, and the third is to utilize a power block builder um, that you have control of, that you can build, that you own that asset, and don't have to worry about third parties or developers, which you're really not sure what kind of quality you're getting back. Now, the advantage is to come becoming a mobile app developer. You don't need to outsource to a programmer and spend $5,000 to be an app developer, which a lot of people up until this point think that you need to have a team that works every day and that you have a huge overhead that you need to pay. And maybe a few years ago that was the case, but not anymore. In fact, you don't need to know a single lick of code to become a highly paid app developer. You don't need prior sales skills. You don't need a registered company. You don't even need a website to make money with apps. It's not required. You can go ahead and provide your service without any of those things. Now I want to give you a quick overview of a platform called Pillar Apps. And unlike the majority of app builders on the market, you have the ability to create an unlimited number of apps. It's unheard of. And a lot of other uh, platforms and a lot of other providers, you get a limited number, you know, whether it's two, three, five, ten a month. Um, it's a pretty, so pretty limited platform. Now, in addition, with this particular platform for Pillar Apps, you get unlimited push notifications that are taking over as a new form of communication. It's bigger than SMS. It's uh, pretty much unlimited potential because when you send a push notification, anyone who has your app downloaded, it goes straight to their phone. And it has a 97% rate of uh, reading and open rate, which is pretty phenomenal when you think about that stat. There's no coding knowledge needed. Very newbie friendly. There's a lot of templates available that you can customize for any niche. So if you have a pub, you can go through and find the template for the pub. Um, a taxi, uh, there's plenty of different niches that you can choose from. It's got a lot of cool features like loyalty coupons, which is huge now. It's got social media integration, but the call buttons, GPS functions, you can uh, provide your app in multiple languages. And there's also e-commerce capabilities. And there's just so much that I could go on and on and on. Um, now, I want to ask if anyone is interested in seeing this actual software and seeing a short demo, and I can actually build an app from scratch. Yeah, that'd be really cool. interested in seeing that right now. Let us know, guys. Are you interested in seeing this happen? Awesome. Yeah. Tons of yeses. Great, great. All right. Well, I'll get right into it then. Get out of this. All right, so here is the interface for Pillar Apps. And what we're going to do is go straight to templates. And like I was saying, there's pages upon pages that are ready for you to just go through and customize and sell. You're not creating anything from scratch. You have the business app as the first one, the pub and grill business app, a trivia game. So if you're into doing niche apps on top of doing local stuff for clients, you can start to create your own trivia games. There's a restaurant app. Uh, more business apps and the taxi cab, traveling, restaurants, as far as that speed, slide icons, uh, blog, let's just go to page six, you have a photography app, another quiz app, fashion app, iPad, newspaper app. So I could go through all 11 pages, but we'd be here for a while. But I just wanted to demo to you all the different types of uh, pages, or different apps rather, that you can create. We have memory game apps, there's a wedding app, so there's a lot that you can go through and pick and choose what you want to use to create an app within minutes for your client. Now, for this example, we're going to go with uh, a food truck. So let me type in San Diego. Whoops. Food truck. Let me just go to one of the first ones we see here. Go to not so fast food truck. As you can see on the site, they have their menu, their schedule, their media, about us, blog, contact, and uh, you know here's their primary site. And what we're going to do is just create a mobile app for them right here on the spot um, within minutes. And I'm going to do that for you using 
the Pub Grub Business app. So we're going to select that. I just got to log in here. Um, now instead of filling out all this information, we'll do that later. I just want to show you how to actually build the app. Um, now the first thing looking at this app that we want to do, I like to customize it to the client or the business that I am building the app for. So we're going to go to Not So Fast. And I use a free tool called Jing to get some screenshots. Um, it's the easiest, fastest tool that I've found. And I can easily just snag the logo right here. Capture that. And save it. Now also I like to do the background as well. So we'll take another quick screenshot of the generic background that they have. And we'll save that. And as you can see, they're right here on my desktop. I'm going to change that background to a JPEG file. And the first thing we want to do is customize it. We want to change the logo, change the background, give it a feel for the local business that we're going after. And the way we do that is just click on the resources box and upload that logo that we just uploaded. So top logo, there it is. Click that. Hit done. And also we'll do the same thing for the background. And the background is right there. Now sometimes it, it takes a couple refreshings for it to kick in, um, but if you go to edit pages, there you go. So the logo kicked in and the background will eventually, but we're going to move on here. As you can see, there's menu reservations, directions, VIP card. Um, now some of these things won't be relevant for the not so fast food truck. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to customize the menu. If you go back to the not so fast uh, food truck and scroll down here, right here we have the download sample menu. So we have the beef eater, the bison burger, the shroomy, and as you can see it is in PDF format. So we're just going to save that PDF right on the desktop. Now we'll go to edit pages. And for the menu, that is tab 2, and we're going to hit, click Edit. Now what we're going to be using is a PDF page, meaning that we're just going to take that PDF file that they have on their site and upload it right here so that it shows up on their mobile app. Go to Upload File, and Sample Menu. Go to Choose. So there we go. Hit Save and Done. So now we have a mobile app with their logo and their menu and the background will kick in eventually. Um, now as far as reservations go, we don't need that. Uh, directions are on four wheels, so we don't need that. Now let's go to the VIP card. Now this is cool. You can go through and customize this and every time they go and visit a not so fast food truck, they show their phone and what the employee does is type in the password, which gives them a stamp. So it's a digital loyalty card right on their phone, which is very powerful. It gets people to come back. I use my subway card all the time to get free subs. Um, so this is something that's really powerful to use. And we're going to go through and edit that real quick. So obviously, it's tailored to the Delaware, which is another restaurant. What we're going to do is change that. They're not so fast. And then you see here the secret code. We'll type in not so password. And you can also modify the amount of stamps. So you can do four stamps, you can do two stamps, you can do eight stamps, whatever you need. Um, but for this, we're just going to leave it for the time being. So if you buy four meals, you get the fifth one free if you visit the not so fast food truck. So we're going to save that, click done. So that's taken care of. Now let's go back to the home screen. We have the menu done. We have the VIP card done. 
Um, now for reservations, we don't really need that. So what we're going to change that to is the about us. We're just going to give them an overview about the food truck. And the way you do that is go to convert. Now this is pretty cool. This is where you're really going to see the back end of what pillar apps can do. Look at all these page types here. You have HTML page types, menu page types, HTML page types, you can stream radio, you can add a calendar or a dictionary, um, there's a bunch of different games, you can have a slot machine or a voice recorder, a magazine, um, you can do a check-in, nearby locations, you can add other coupons, I mean this scrolls and scrolls and scrolls, there's a lot you can do. And you can create an app from scratch and add any of these pages into any of the apps that you have. Well, for now, we're just going to do the about, whoops, the about us page. So we'll click that and convert. So now instead of reservations, we have the about us page. So let's go back to not so fast. And if you go to the about us, Here is their phone number, so we'll add that. And it's cool because with the builder, this is click to call. So as soon as you have this on their page, all that end user needs to do is tap the button and they'll be in contact with them. So we'll add that right here. For the about us, we're just going to copy and paste this quick few paragraphs about their food truck. All right. Um, then we're going to grab their web address. Now, keep in mind, we are building a mobile app, and this is their web address. If they don't have a mobile website, there you go. That's enough other service that you can bundle in with the mobile app, and that's something that you can check out once you demo the app for them. Yeah, we, we've had several people asking about the interrelationship between the app and the mobile website, so there, there you go, guys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, what we're trying to do here, we're not trying to uh, take away from mobile apps, or I'm sorry, mobile websites. We're simply just creating a solution for um, for mobile. But you need a mobile website, you need a mobile app, and when you can combine that together, that's powerful. And there's ways that you can interrelate it, um, you know, to make sure that they have the full solution that they need as a business. Exactly. Cool. Th th this is an extremely impressive builder. I'm, I'm, I'm loving seeing this thing. Yeah, thank you, Lee. Um, now, we have the home screen. We have the menu uh, right here. We have the VIP card, and as you can see, the background kicked in. Now for the reservations, it's the About Us page. So what we're going to do is go to we are going to change reservations so that it says About Us. Oh, the navigation settings. There we go. And we can type in about us. And you can go through. There's plenty of different icons that you can choose to customize that. So for this one, we'll just we'll use this person right here. To add that to resources. Save changes. And there you go. So within a matter of minutes, we have the menu, the VIP card, and the About Us, and on the home page for reservations, obviously, we need to change that so that it reflects the About Us. So we'll go to Edit Pages, page one, and instead of reservations, we change that to oops, About Us, and then directions, we don't need directions since they're uh, food truck and they're on wheels, so we'll take that away. Hit save and done. And there you go. You have a fully native mobile app that you can send to your prospects and 
you know, I think that this would really impress them. You have their telephone number, the website address, the about us, the VIP card. Um, this is something that businesses need and are looking for, and it was created within a matter of minutes. Yeah, I was going to say, this has taken all of maybe 14 minutes, and you were talking the whole time and explaining stuff. Yeah, that, so that was really cool. Cool. Yeah, that was just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what you can do with apps, you know. As well, yeah, pe people are saying in the more. chat, yeah, people are seeing all this stuff scroll by as you go pick it, this and that, you know, and saying in the chat, you know, Lee, there, there's a ton of stuff on here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very impressive. It's pretty overwhelming. I mean, we could go on for days as far as the uh, different functionality and the different things you could do. There's a pizza app, real estate. You can also, keep in mind, create a blank template and just add any of those pages, whether you want to do a niche game or whether you want to add, um, you know, a template where you take your photo in front of a food truck and send it in. And, you know, there's a winner posted every week via Facebook or, you know, the pictures that were sent in and submitted. So you can really turn on uh, app for the uh, the client that you're working with. Right, right. So 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 this has enough stuff to where it's very very customizable per client. Yeah. Absolutely. You can make it as simplistic or as complex as possible. I mean, cool. there's just yeah, the possibilities are endless. So there was the app. Um, let's go back to the uh, presentation here. Guys, I'm seeing tons of questions float through the chat, and that's cool. We, we want you to ask very detailed questions, and, and we'll, we will be on here and a answer all your questions. We're going to have some Q&A after we're done, so you know, I'm, I'm not trying to stop Sean's flow too much because he's already kind of got this planned out. But uh, one, once we get toward the end and you have a specific question, we'll sit here and answer them, okay? Absolutely. I know, I know there's probably a lot of questions because it's no, a lot we, to take in. I mean, we, it's a powerful We have platform, a so. bunch of great questions from these guys. They're, they're extremely interested yeah. in this. So car carry on. I'll, I'll, I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks for interjecting me. Um, anytime, if there's a, a real pertinent question, feel free to ask. Okay. Um, but I just showcased the builder. And uh, on in addition to the builder, there's a real thriving community. Uh, there's a separate members area in mastermind community. Um, now, basically, it's it's a very unique, intimate um, experience that helps you connect with the people that are doing the same thing as you. There are, there are internet marketers that help small offline businesses, and they're focused on apps. They're focused on mobile, and it's it's really a cool place to engage and helps expedite your success a lot. We have several sections within the membership area that provide you with actual marketing materials for the for the app builder. Um, we're talking legal forms, done for you graphic packs, lead generation videos, and this is all on top of the robust app builder that I just demoed. Now a lot of people uh, sell this as an upsell and you know charge upwards of 147 a month to be a part of the mastermind. Um, and I'll show you why it is worth 147 a month, but it's actually included um, with the front end fee for the Pillar Apps platform. But let's take a quick look inside. I'll show you that real quick. And I can kind of demo everything that's on the members area because I'm sure a lot of people are seeing this and are kind of overwhelmed with all the different options. And if you've never built a mobile app before, it might be a little intimidating. But with the uh, the training that, that is included on the inside and with the different options and with the uh, mastermind community, it really helps to uh, to get you where you want to be very quickly. So here's the inside of the Pillar Apps of Members area. Um, as you can see here on the front page, it's got all the different modules and it tells you about the newest updates that were just added as of February. We've only been around for about a month and a half and uh, we've already been adding a lot of new content to the Members area. And we've also um, added some new templates as well to the builder. So you can see, as you can see here, module one, getting started, the app basics, the five pillars of app building, um, how to build out niche apps. So say you're doing some local stuff and selling to local clients, you can also really cash in with doing some niche apps um, through push notifications, selling your niche apps, researching different niche apps that are hot right now. Um, and then module three, you can research your local apps, how to prospect and sell them, how to create a business app, and then module four, you have the video training, extensive training, 
Google Play account, Apple Developers account, how to submit your app. And then I really like Module 5 because you have all the mobile app reports, the legal forms, the lead gen videos, icon creators, graphic packs, QR code generators. I mean, this is really, really powerful stuff. And if you go right over to the mobile app reports, you can see you can use it as an opt-in or a giveaway. Basically, take this, rebrand it, and position yourself as the authority. So if your clients have any more questions, you can give them uh, this report that kind of goes over why my mobile apps are so important. And we update these every month. A new, um, a new PDF is uploaded. PLR rights, you can do anything you want with them to help you gain more clients. And then with X, uh, Module 6, it's about accessing the builder, new user instructions, and also how to use our preview app, which means that you can take our preview app and access any app that you're working on to demo it to a local client, which is pretty powerful. And then also we have the mastermind group, um, which is based on Facebook. And we'll go over a, a few of the conversations that have been had on the, the mastermind group on Facebook. So there's a lot in the members area, um, but it's short to the point. It gets you the information that you need to get started and to get banking on mobile apps right away. That's incredible, and um, what, one thing that um, I love about this is, is you have a way to sell these because we see so many products where it's cool, it can do tons of cool stuff, and then when it comes to, well, how do you actually make money with it, you know, basically you're left with, uh, you know, just, just go out and talk to people or something like that. So, so this is very, very cool. Right, and that was the one thing that we noticed was missing, um, was that you have a powerful piece of software, but if you don't have the training, if you don't have materials to help those people that have the software, then it means nothing to them. And exactly, that yeah. was kind of why we, we went through and built out this membership area um, to do that. Now, here's some success stories, and this is from the VIP mastermind that I was talking to you about. These are all members, current members, that, uh, that joined. And here's one named Tracy. He landed a $2,000 deal plus $250 a month recurring. So he will make $5,000 in a year from this app. Now, granted, he's known the person, but they called him up, said, hey, I need a new website. And he told him about the mobile app and actually got more money for selling the mobile app. And as you can see, 145 people have, have seen it. A lot of people congratulated him. Um, and it's just a very cool, inspiring, uplifting place to be. And you're talking with some people that are doing huge things with mobile apps. So it's a great community to be involved in. Yeah, that's very Here's cool. You know, ha having a community like that is, is, is a key to uh, having success with this stuff. That's very cool. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's why we created the community, because I can't tell you how many times people have been um, communicating through the, the, the mastermind group and have gotten new ideas and different ways to uh, kind of craft the way they sell to local clients. Um, mm -hmm. For instance, here's another one from Chase. He said, the program is awesome. We landed a huge client. We can't give names right now, but soon. And then um, he actually said this is their third sale in a week. And nice. he said there's a thousand locations that he is locking in with with this big client. So he wanted to verify, he's like, can you share that push notifications are free as long as I'm a member? Um, just mm -hmm. because he thought it was a little too good to be true, but uh, you do get unlimited push notifications. So you're not limited like with SMS where you get 500 a month or 1,000 a month. With Pillar Apps, it truly is unlimited. You get as many push notifications as you like going direct to uh, your um, downloader's phone. Right. This is a cool Very one. Cool. Um, this one kind of made my jaw drop because I haven't done anything like this, but uh, a guy named Drew in the VIP Mastermind, uh, he said, you know what, I submitted a proposal for 8K for one client, they laughed, came back with me with a better price, so I did, he submitted it for 120K and they agreed. So Drew actually uh, brought in a $120,000 contract and this was for the entire Chamber of Commerce for where he's located. Um, and it was cool because he had a lot of questions and the thread was alive. There was over 70 comments on the thread. Um, and he said that he would be putting on a webinar to show exactly what he did. And it's cool because with the Chamber of Commerce, 
you basically bypass the entire sales cycle where you contact, you know, you exchange a few emails, maybe a phone call. He went straight to the Chamber of Commerce and was able to broker a deal of this magnitude, which is just blew my mind, and I thought that was amazing. It's cool to be in a group with uh, with people like this that are doing huge things with mobile apps. Very nice, yeah. Very inspiring. Uh, here's another one, and this was kind of funny. I thought I had to throw this in there. Uh, this is Chase again. He, he said, you know what? Think of a niche no one thinks of. Politicians need a mobile <laughs> app. He signed up the mayor of Ozark. And uh, he said the push notes sold him the push notifications. Uh, he's like, think personally branded, not just business. Remember, make it affordable. So for him, he's a personal friend, so he only sold it for $500 and $30 recurring, um, which is still a nice payday, um, especially because of the time that you're going to put into building the app, which for something like this wouldn't take you much than a few hours. Yes, yes, absolutely. Very cool. Now, what we're going to do is offer you an opportunity to join this uh, Pillar Apps platform. Um, you've seen the software. You've seen the members area. Um, you get the lead forms, the legal forms, the lead gen reports, QR codes. I mean, you can go on and on. You get exclusive access to that closed door mastermind group that we just uh, went over, a few of the success stories. You also get extensive training and video guides. So you have the extensive training. There's probably over 30 videos that show you exactly how to use the builder um, and how to build your first app. And you get full-time support to answer any questions. We have a help desk. Uh, we work on weekends. And we're around all the time to, uh, to answer any hiccups that you have. Now, for the first 30 people, um, we can offer you a spot in the Pillar Apps Charter membership right now. So, Lee, if you want to uh, drop in the, uh, the link. For yeah, the I'm going to put the uh, link into the chat here. And, uh, guys, if you are interested in this, th this dovetails perfectly with mobile websites. Uh, we, we've had a ton of specific questions, and, and we'll get to those in a little bit. So if you got a question, just hang loose. We, we, we know you got some really cool questions. Happy to answer those. But I'm going to go ahead and put this in here, which I just did there. So if you want to get in on this, I mean, um, the, 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 this is really killer stuff. And on top of that, uh, just to help and, uh, and, and to aid with getting into um, mobile apps, a special bonus package specifically from me, you're going to be receiving mobile graphics pack with 40 different icon images you can use, and then for commercial use um, as well. So you can use them for all your clients. You can use them on your local sites. Um, so you get 40 of those for free commercial use. You also get the instant offline avalanche, which goes hand in hand with uh, mobile websites. So it will help in addition to what you guys are doing now with mobile apps to upsell and to bundle and to package mobile websites into your offering as well. And with the Regis Gold Card, this is pretty cool. The Regis Gold Card, you get a year worth of membership. And basically what a Regis office is, is you can go and get office space in 1,100 cities worldwide in 85 different countries and you'll have free access to Wi-Fi, to coffee. You'll be able to, you know, get away from wherever you're at. If you're in a hotel room, if you're on vacation, even if you're home. I go and visit my Regis quite often in Buffalo, New York, uh, just to get out of the house and have, um, you know, a professional setting to be around. So you'll get a year of that, and that's $49 a month. You can go look it up right now. Um, that will be included as part of the bonus package. And then also the offline gold mine course and how to target your local market. Just two different um, courses that will help you along your way to, uh, to really jumpstart your mobile app business. Yeah, that's great. Guys, also, AJ and I were so excited about this because, this again, this dovetails so nicely with our, um, you know, the whole thing we're teaching about selling mobile websites that we thought we would throw in a couple of bonuses, too. If you don't already have mobile ATM and you don't already have email sleuth, we will give those to you for the duration of the time that you um, decide, you know, that, that you pay for the mobile apps thing. That is a bonus. So you will receive that bonus. When, when you buy this, this is run through JVZoo, so when you receive that bonus, um, that will actually be in your JVZoo receipt. So just look, um, nor normally in JVZoo when you buy something, you see the link where you're taken to go you know, to wherever the thing is that you bought. Just below that, there's a bonus link. 
So just, you know, open up that bonus link. It's a text file. It's got some simple instructions with it. Follow those instructions and uh, you will get our bonuses also. Had a few people ask uh, in, in the chat saying that the link wasn't working. I just tried it and uh, it worked for me, but it was a little slow. So I'm thinking there are a bunch of people trying to get on this thing at one time. So ju just yeah. PayPal has crashed. Yeah. I don't think so. Uh, just Just keep trying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think that that's happened before. Actually, there was a server overload. Um, you know, it, it might take a minute for everything. Yeah, and it's uh, I I I just clicked on one of these. I'm going to click on the other one. Um, basically, Sean is offering you two options. He's offering you a year option of three hundred forty nine dollars. Sean, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't want to give away your money. And uh, he's also offering you a monthly option of 35 bucks. So you can pay for this monthly, $35 a month, and you just keep paying for that. Or you can buy it for a year for $349. The difference between the two is the $349 over the period of years can save you about $70. But we understand that not everybody has you know, a ton of money in the bank. We're, we're here to help you build your businesses. So Sean very kindly uh, added in that uh, monthly payment there. I just tried these guys, but both of these are working for me. So if you have if you have any questions about the link and all that stuff, let us know, and we'll uh, we'll fix whatever we need fixing. Yeah, I see a question real real quick here from Rob saying any additional fees after paying the three forty nine for the year. Some sites charge per app. Do you charge per app, Rob? Absolutely not. Um, the three forty nine covers you for everything. It covers you for creating a limited number of apps. It covers you for sending an unlimited number of push notifications. Um, and it also uh, covers you for listing on the App Store, unless you'd like to do it under your own developer account. Right now, you can do it for free using the Pillar Apps account. So when you list that app, it will show up under the Pillar Apps developer account. Um, you know, if you want, just want to get your feet wet and throw a couple apps out there and you know, start getting some downloads, you can do that. Um, and then you can also, in the future, if you want to put it under your own offline business name, you can do that as well. And for Google Play, it's a one-time fee of $25 to get that developer account. For Apple iTunes, it is a $99 developer fee. Um, but you have the option of listing it for free and having it live in both app stores going through the Killer Apps developer account. So I just wanted to clarify that. Sean, I actually did... Um click all the way through to trying to click all the way through to pay on PayPal and there apparently is I, I did that on the 349 link I'm doing it again on the $35 a month link and it does seem like there's some kind of uh, issue with uh, JVZoo right now um, let me check the other one guys we'll get it figured out um, we crashed PayPal alright what's going on guys hey how are you Good. I've just been sitting here doing work quietly. Yeah, I tried to buy it. didn't work either. Uh, keep going. Uh, JVZ is probably overloaded or something. Either that, Sean. We had this problem recently on a webinar, and uh, what it boiled down to, uh, someone, I'm not going to say who, had forgot to put the, um, the link in the JVZ thing right. You know when you set that up, so you, you you might want to check back into that, guys. We're we're, we're checking into this. There's a recording anyway, so um, um, well, this is going to be up. It's going to be on a page. You know, a AJ and I are not uh, uh, infomercial used car salespeople, as you know. So you know, we we want you to make an informed decision. So uh, we will try to fix the problem now, and if we can't fix the problem now, then um, then we will um, um, have this up online for you to look at and fix the problem. While Sean's looking into that, uh, I, I am not um, uh, a, a web app expert. A lot of the questions you were asking, we need to ask for Sean, I mean, ask to Sean. But if you want to pop some of those questions back in here, um, Neil says, so I am in the first 30 when this is fixed. I don't know, Neil. That's <laughs> great if you buy it in the first 30. Uh, Leah, yeah, I, I, I saw that question a bunch. You, a, a bunch of people have had that question. I, I, I need Sean to uh, 
I need Sean to uh, answer that question for us. That, that question has an answer, by the way. And Sean, if you need to stop sharing your screen so you can uh, go to the back end. Yeah, let's go. go okay, yeah, that'd be great to answer Leah real quick. She says, is Pillar Apps getting its templates, uh, template apps through the submission process for Apple? Um, yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of successful apps that have already been listed live um, on the uh, Apple Store. I know it's a little more difficult than Android. If you create an Android app, that can be live within hours. Um, the submission process through that is very, very simple, and it goes through um, pretty much instantly without any kind of crazy review or anything. So you can have an, a, la uh, a live app within hours. Now, in the case for um, the Apple Store, they do go through a review process, and it takes about a week. And with all the native features that are part of Pillar Apps, um, it has a really high success rate as long as you have good content. You can't put out junky apps, but if you're doing one for a local client and you use um, a lot of the native features that are part of the builder, there's no issues with you know getting everything submitted and approved through the Apple Store. Bonuses, Alex. The bonuses are yours as long as you're paying for this. So if you pay for it for a month, uh, you get our bonuses for a month. If you pay for it for a year, you get our bonuses for a year. If you pay for it for six months, you get our bonuses for six months. Um, I'm looking through here to see if there's a question that I'm qualified to answer. Uh, well, I'm going to read one right here. Sergio he says, does it work with e-commerce? Um, yes, you can definitely add uh, e-commerce for it. Right now, uh, what is a part of Pillar Apps are the, uh, the PayPal functions where you can actually add buttons um, nice. in order to check out through PayPal mobile, which is a huge feature. Um, and then you can also add any other additional links for, uh, for checkout and do that as well. So that is a part of the Pillar Apps builder. Sean, would you like me to take the screen so you can stop sharing the screen and do some stuff and figure it out? Yeah, sure. Um, this will... You know, a lot of you guys, I, I noticed there were a lot of questions. Um, and it's kind of a general question about, does an app replace a mobile website? Does a mobile website replace an app? Do you need both? How do they, how do, how do they work together? Um, let's talk about that. So he, here's the deal with the mobile website. Um, I'm, I'm going to mute Sean a sec, since I think he's looking at stuff. So here's the deal with the mobile website. You know, you... Uh, you're looking for somebody, you're looking for a dog trainer, okay? You get on your phone, you're talking with a friend, your friend says, hey, I've got the, you know, you know my dog that used to do yada, yada, I've got this great dog trainer. You get out your phone, oh, what, what's their name? You know, I don't, you know, dog trainer Atlanta or whatever, you look at the results, you start touching those things, you know, web pages come up on your phone, you see a web page, you see the top left-hand corner of it, you can't navigate it, you can't find the, the phone number, uh, you skip it, and then you get a mobile website where everything you need is there, the tap to call, et cetera, et cetera. That's what a mobile website does, okay? A mobile website is a way of getting someone into the business basically through that route. What a mobile app does, it's, it's going to be resident actually on the phone. So let's say somebody has a relationship with a business. Like I get my hair cut uh, in, in one place, and actually uh, I had to cancel my hair appointment. I know those of you who've seen me on a video are probably laughing right now that I even have enough hair to cut, but, or that I would even care because it's, what, what's left I was generally sticking up in all directions. But, you know, it, 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 if a business wants to deepen their relationship with someone, if the business wants to cut out competition, if the business, the, the word in marketing is called positioning. If a business wants to position themselves at the top of a person's mind as the go-to business for whatever that thing is, that's where an app works extremely well. So they're similar. They both work with mobile, but they do two different things, and they do work, uh, as Sean showed us that one example, they, they do work hand in hand. Uh, hey, Lee, you want to do this? Yeah. I don't know what problem Sean's having, but you're good with JBZoo. You want to mute yourself and Sean and just hop on a Skype call with him? Yeah, I'll get on there with him. And I can take the question stuff. Yeah, I, what, 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 I, don't yeah, yeah. About, I don't know anything about uh, JBZoo, so I'm going to mute both of you two, hop on a Skype call. 
I just said yes. Yeah. <laughs> Muted. All right, guys, it took a little second there because uh, Lee launched the webinar, so he's showing up as AJ. Uh, here's what's going on with mobile apps. Mobile web or websites are a foot in the door method. You're not going to search for. Can you guys all hear me? Yes, no? Okay, I'm logged in as Adam Jacobs, so is Lee, because he launched the webinar, so, uh, yeah, well, we got it, it's being worked on, it's just something in the back end of, something probably wasn't set up just right. Uh, when somebody searches for, like, Atlanta, Georgia dentist, or Atlanta, Georgia restaurants, because they're out looking for food, you're not going to get an app ranked in the Google search results, but if a company's got a website up and it's not mobile optimized and somebody lands on that website, they're not going to be be able to see the website, navigate the website, find directions, tap to call it, anything like that. So a mobile website is for the general market. It's a foot in the door method. It's a, so people can find you, navigate around your stuff, and actually get a hold of you and show up in your place of business. Now, once they're in your place of business, a mobile app is a way to keep them coming back. Uh, plenty of restaurants are busy all the time. So they want to be able to offer the specials to their clients. They want to be able to do this, this, this. They might want to have some type of contest, give away free stuff, give away $100, give away an iPad. I work with a few restaurants. We do some promos every month to give away an iPad. And they've got to come in three times or four times over the course of a month, and they got to fill stuff out. But they give away an iPad, and this keeps this restaurant busy as hell. So that's something a mobile app would come in. He was showing the uh, uh, loyalty aspects of these mobile apps. That's where those come in. You can do some really cool stuff with an app. That can you do it with a mobile website? Yeah, but it needs to be bookmarked, and they have to show back up to it. With it being an app, it's on their phone. So if you go, anybody pulls out their phone, usually you can swipe one way or the other, and there's a whole other page, especially if you have an iPhone, a whole other page of icons. You are sitting on their screen at all times. They don't have to bring up a web browser and then go to their bookmarks and then find your site. You're on their phone the whole time. So you send a push notification, it's going to pop up on their phone and 100 percent of people will see it. Now, if you do too many push notifications, some people will get annoyed, but the ones that don't get annoyed are going to be your loyal, loyal customers. He was talking about food trucks. While you guys were on the call, I did the same exact search with uh, yahoo.com. Doing that same site, facebook.com, parentheses, uh, food trucks, parentheses, uh, yahoo.com, returned 111,000 results. Now, I'm not going to tell you there's 100 80,000 food trucks in this country. There's not. I don't think so. But there is a huge market. And the thing with uh, food trucks is huge because I was actually in uh, New York in October. Ate at a food truck. My girlfriend wanted to eat at a food truck for the first time. I was talking to the guy about it. He's like, yeah, we're on Twitter. Every day we send out a tweet letting people know where we're going to be at. And everybody follows us because they want to know if they're going to be outside their location all the time. A mobile app is perfect for that. I can't believe I've never even thought about doing this for food trucks because that is an awesome, awesome avenue to explore. Does an app need internet access on the phone or is it through cellular connection? I, it's through this, if you're hooked up to the internet on your phone, it'll go through the internet. If you're hooked up to the cellular network, it'll go through the cellular network. Is my understanding, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty 95% sure. Wow, give away an iPad. Where's this restaurant? I'm suddenly hungry. Branded loyalty reward apps for my clients. Yeah, Rick's got the point. Uh, mobile websites get them in the door. Apps keep them coming back. Uh, Craig's got a question. You can have an option to download the mobile app to get coupons, et cetera, from within the mobile site, correct? The mobile website is different than a mobile app. It, they can get a mobile website without ever downloading anything. It's just on whatever browser they have. A mobile app has to reside on the phone. They have to download it and install it. That's the big difference. Can we pay monthly for a couple of months and then pay annually? Uh, I'm sure Todd's pro, or for Todd, your question is, I'm sure Sean's got some type of upgrade feature. If you pay for a few months to get some clients, I'm sure he'll give you an option to upgrade for a year. Uh, that's not set in stone because I was supposed to be out tonight. I wasn't supposed to be on this webinar, but I hopped on. Can I build an app to solve business problems such as timesheets? Uh, Camellia, is that some? If you're talking about like an internal app for a company with their client or with their staff and stuff, that's different than kind of what we're talking about now. 
uh, they need mass appeal for these types of apps for their customers, not in-house. Is there a Google search to find out if a business has an app or just through the different app stores? Uh, there's really, not, I don't know of any business search for an app because the apps aren't really listed on the searches, so yeah. Push notifications work in the UK? Yes. What's the best mobile website builder in your opinion? My opinion is ours. Uh, there's a ton out there. Squeeze Mobile Guides just did one that was rock solid for under $10. We have a mobile builder, social mobile platform out there. Uh, that's what I'm moving all my clients to. Yeah, mobile app does not even need an internet connection. I'm going to stand by that, and I assume I'm right. I don't usually go out on a limb on stuff I don't know 100%, but yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I don't know your name or I'd hold you to that. <laughs> yeah, Camelia, that's probably a no. You're talking about an internal app for the business, and I'm not saying this app, Pillar apps could not do that, but they might need something more, so I'll let Sean answer that when I get back. I'm kind of speaking off the cuff here. Push notifications work in Australia, too. I'm thinking push notifications work anywhere with a cellular connection because HTC sells cell phones all over the world. So does Apple. So it's not based on anything in any type of local network or something like that. So I'm going to go out and live and say push notifications work everywhere in the world. You're welcome, Richard. Jonathan says, yes, they do work in Australia. How is the app hosted? Um, once it's downloaded, and again, I'm speaking a little outside my realm here, but uh, this is a market I've looked into and I'm getting into really big, so I'm going to go ahead and answer. Uh, it's got to be downloaded from somewhere, and once it's downloaded from somewhere, it resides on the phone. <laughs> so you need to have some location through Apple or the Android store, and so I assume it's hosted there is going to be mine. I have some clients I've sold apps to, and it, I put it on the store, and they download it. If I need to edit it, I do it inside there. Yes, Rick. All right, questions were flying by a million miles a minute. If anybody else has questions that I can uh, answer here while they're getting this sorted out. And hey guys, tomorrow the replay will be out, so uh, if you guys can't get access for right now, uh, we'll, we'll have it available tomorrow. Where do you feel web apps fit in the picture? Web apps are where it's at. You are being, here's what you guys got to understand. Mobile websites kick ass. They're great. Kick open the door feature and get you in the gate. They're awesome. Uh, where they fall down on is the constant interaction with the client. Now, with a web app, is like almost like the end game. I don't want to say the end game because there's plenty of stuff you can do. It's like the destination for all your funnels. So if you're doing the social media for a company, you want to funnel all those people to a web app. You're doing press releases, funnel them to a web app. Mobile websites, give them download the web app or the mobile app. The reason for mobile apps is that it's the end destination. You're on their phone, you're in their pocket, you're in their hand. You are in, the company will be in the client's pocket everywhere they go or purse for you ladies. So that's the end goal. You're just embedded in their number one feature, the number one thing. People will leave home and come back home to get their mobile phone. Everybody on the call has done it because <clears throat> you feel naked without it. If you're residing on the phone with your own little icon, you're in the client's pocket. AJ, does Pillar Apps create web-based apps to where the phone actually has to connect to the net, or is it all downloaded to the phone? Uh, I'm going to say that it's downloaded to the phone, John, and I will check with you very, very shortly once Sean makes a reappearance. Same thing with you, Rick. How much pay each month when the apps get approved on Apple and Android? How to get it approved? Uh, there's training inside there on how to get it approved. I own, I have more app builders than you guys could possibly imagine. Uh, Pillar Apps came out and Sean hit me up and I really like the interface on all this and this is where I'm taking all my stuff. So, yeah. There's training in there. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole process because it's too long and boring for everybody else on this call. But there's training in there. 
Gilbert, does he own Pillar Apps? I'm pretty sure Sean owns the website Pillar Apps. Integration with phone functionality. I don't know what you mean by that, Todd. A little more specific. Oh, I don't know about if it integrates with the phone or something like that. I, that's a different realm for me. So for everybody still on this call, I appreciate you hanging out with us on a Friday night and going through our technical glitches. As you guys can see, these webinars happen, but they're always not smooth sailing. There's a lot on the back end for you guys that uh, don't see when you guys come on these webinars. So just bear with us. AJ, can you show the slides with how to get the leads again? Uh, I would, but I don't have it because that was Sean's. John's. But what I did do is take some notes because I was doing these searches on the call. So I can put it up on my screen. See, guys, I'm here to help. Uh, let's do this. It's site Facebook. Let me drop this in the chat so you guys can just copy and paste it. I was told to unmute Sean, I think. Uh, hold on, guys. Sean, you are self-muted. Yeah, I just told him that. Guys, we're getting close. We, we have the owner of JVZoo actually on the horn looking into this. So, uh, you got EBR? We got Zem on there. So. I was going to say, if you had EBR, get him on this call because I won't talk to him. <laughs> this little hassle. <laughs> I've got a video right now on my computer of EBR being locked in the trunk of uh, Mike Lance's new Tesla from Vegas. <laughs> it's pretty funny. There's the search I've seen that, actually. Yeah. It was pretty funny. We were trying to do something. We had to do it on the fly because the camera crew was there and needed to do it really quick because we had a better skit planned out, but it didn't work out that way. All right. Well, let me cover a couple questions here as far as the ad uh, networks that Pillar Apps supports. Um, AdMob is one that integrates uh, seamlessly and also RevMob, basically you just add in your ID and you can choose whether you want the banner on the top of the app, the bottom of the app, or both locations. Um, also keep in mind that you can capitalize on revenue through your push notifications if you're working on local apps, or I'm sorry, on niche apps. So you get your, um, you know, your downloads and all your users and you can send them push notifications and send them to whatever you want, affiliate offers, CPA offers, um, you know, any other different kind of opt-in offers. Um, so the possibilities are kind of endless on how to monetize with, uh, with advertising revenue. Sean, can I hand the screen back to you? Whenever I have open office, it does this flashing thing and drives people crazy. Are you good to get the screen handed back to you? Um, I think I might need to make some changes depending okay. on what no Brian does. Go this route. Not a big deal. Uh, Tom, I'll send you guys the EBR video tomorrow. I'll put it online. Also, somebody asked uh, how much it costs to list the apps on the Google Play in the Apple Store. Um, it, you can go the route and use the Pillar Apps developer account to put them on the App Store for free. If you are so inclined to use your own developer account, you can do that as well, and everything can be submitted. It's a, a real simple process going through the software through Pillar Apps to do the submission. Um, and basically, you just go through the steps. You add your information, your description, and whatnot. And um, it's, there's a one-time fee for Google Play, and it's $25. And for Apple, it's $99. If you want your own um, developer account, you can use the Pillar Apps account to uh, get a couple of uh, apps out there you know, until you get your feet wet. Fix it, I want in. All right, guys, I have to step away for just 60 seconds. I'll be back. Sean, you got it? Yeah, absolutely. All yeah, right. I'm here. All right, we have a question from Lisa. She says, if one goes for the $35 a month option, can you still build unlimited apps? Lisa, absolutely. You can build unlimited apps um, for $35 a month. It doesn't matter if you just do one a month or if you do 20 a month. You have the capacity to build and to have as many apps live as you'd like. Um, we can scale and grow with your business. So whether you just sell one app 
and, uh, and just stick with that until you move on to your next one, or whether you want to just build a ton of apps, throw a, a lot of apps at the wall and see what sticks, you can do that as well. Um, and we will support that as well as unlimited uh, push notifications as well. Um, somebody asked, uh, does Pillar Apps create web-based apps? Um, we don't create web-based apps, but there is an option um, where you can bring in uh, a mobile website into your app. So it's kind of the same thing, but it's a little different. Um, and that is an option that you can do. Uh, yes, Lisa, you can also upgrade, you know, after a month or two, once you get some apps going and once you get some sales, if you'd like to upgrade to the yearly fee, you can do that. But there are limited spots for the uh, yearly spots. So uh, once we get everything settled on the JVZoo side, um, it'd be more advantageous to jump on that and make sure that you're locked in uh, before the charter membership runs out of spots for that. Sean Rick has a really good question. He said, what's your support going to be like ongoing? He's got, and I'm, I'm, I'm not going to mention the name of the other builder, and they're shockingly slow with their response and don't always answer the question fully. Okay, yeah, I just saw that, Rick, actually. Um, we have a full-time support team. Um, so during the hours of 9 to 5 Eastern Standard Time, we have somebody working and answering all the support tickets 24-7, approving the apps, going through and making sure that everything is taken care of. Um, you know, there's been a few people that have commented in the mastermind group about the support and how uh, great it is compared to some other app builders that are substantially higher priced. Um, you know, and that was kind of the goal for us to come in and to be able to provide something that was uh, just a lot, lot better than some of the other builders, uh, but for a fraction of the price. Um, and even on weekends, it might be a little slower. You might not get a response in the first hour, but you'll get a response um, within that day. And that's kind of the track record that we've had since we've been live for the last month and a half or so. And, um, you know, as we continue to expand, we continue to hire and have more people to help you out. Um, so when it comes to support, we're there to back you up and make sure that your questions get answered. And if there's something that pressing, nine times out of ten, if you post that same question in the mastermind group, um, you'll get a whole lot of people that bind together and will help you figure out your issue and solve your problem. Gilbert's got a good question. He says at the $35, and he's talking about the monthly fee, does that include all the bells and whistles? Uh, yes, all the bells and whistles. I know people have a hard time believing this, but it really is just one upfront fee. There's no upsells, there's no downsells, no cross-sells, there's nothing uh, that's hidden under the trenches. There's no per-app fees. It really, truly is uh, a one-time fee for unlimited apps, unlimited push notifications, and uh, you'll never be pressured to upgrade to anything else. Um, the masterminds included, the marketing materials are included, and uh, a lot of people, they do find it uh, a little hard to believe in, you know, being a part of this community, like, I, I understand. Um, but that's why we created, uh, kind of fulfill that void and, and really bring it to the market. But that is for the charter membership. Um, this is something that once we get our user base, we will be expanding and growing um, and going more into the mainstream. And the price will rise, uh, especially for the yearly and the monthly. Um, you know, which is why we're, we're doing this webinar for you guys tonight to be able to take advantage of that special pricing. And I know we're having some issues now that, you know, Lee is, is working out and speaking with the owner of JVZoo. So we're going to get that sorted for you as soon as possible. And, um, you know, regardless, we'll be able to make sure that, that spots are set aside for those people who have taken the time on their Friday night to uh, be a part of this webinar and, uh, and communicate with us. So for that, I truly appreciate it. And thank you guys so much. Um, Tony just asked, can you repeat the bonuses? I absolutely can. Um, Do you want to get your screen back? Can you just pull up the slide? Uh, yeah, 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 sure, you can do that. If you need to do something, just tell me and I'll take it back. Okay. All right, can everyone see my screen? I can, yes. All right, yep, BJ said yep. All right, cool. So here's the bonus package right here. Um, you get the mobile graphics pack, which is over 40 different icons that you can use. Um, it's got iPhones and Android phones and uh, basically a bunch of different icons you can use for your own personal apps or websites, or you can also use them 
for commercial use for your client websites as well. So that is uh, part of the bonus. You also get the instant offline avalanche, which is now off of the market. It's no longer um, on the wire form, and, and it sells now uh, for $27 plus the upsell for a $47 value. But that is all included, and that has to do with mobile websites. So it will give you um, another perspective on, on how to sell mobile websites and to kind of bundle the whole uh, mobile aspect together. So you can create um, a full 360-degree solution of, for your clients, and that's included. Uh, the Regis Gold Card is cool. You get to, uh, to, to go to another office space and to do work and get free and hang out. kind of breaks you out of the zone of working from home or you know, working from wherever, and if you're on the road, you have a place to go and do work. So the Regis Gold Card is awesome. I'm excited about that. I was just doing some research on that when, I, when you uh, announced it. I do a lot of traveling, so I'm in cities all over the country all, all the time. I'm signing up for that no matter what, just because to get an office space like that, that's just awesome. Definitely. So thanks definitely. for bringing that to my attention. Definitely. And Rob, um, you know, you said you can't stay for much longer, but you'd like to get the bonus pack. Um, you know, if, if worse comes to worse and you got to go right now, uh, you can always shoot me an email, um, and we'll make sure that a spot is reserved so that you can get not only the bonus package from me, but from uh, Lee and AJ as well. And, uh, you know, we'll make sure that, uh, that that's sorted out. So no worries about that. And uh, Rob just said, he goes, I have the gold card. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a huge advantage to know that you have a place to go and have meetings and do, uh, to get some work done no matter where you travel to. I mean, 1,100 cities. You know, I was in Montreal for my buddy's bachelor party. And even though... I was, uh, you know, might not have been in the best condition. I, I was able to go to a Regis office and get some uh, work done that was, that was necessary at the time. Um, Neil asked what my email is. And my email is Sean, S-H-A-U-N, at PillarApps.com. That's S-H-A-U-N at PillarApps.com. Duke also brought up a really good point. He says, well, what if the price increases? You know, what's going to happen to the amount that we're paying? The cool thing is that if you do get in now during the charter launch, which is why we're calling it the charter launch, because it really is the, the first crew of people that we're accepting, you get grandfathered into that price. So when the price jumps from $35 a month to $67 a month, you are still going to pay that $35 a month as long as you're a member in good standing. And the same goes for the yearly fee as well. So if you sign up and get that yearly fee for $349, saving $70 a month on the monthly fee, um, and then you know saving however much the price will go up to, you're grandfathered into that as well. And as you can see from the mastermind group, um, you know it hasn't been very difficult for people to uh, to pull in one sale and get on the low end on the low end $500 plus $30 a month. Uh, you know just selling to a personal friend who happened to be the mayor. Uh, so one sale will pay off your yearly fee and then some. You'll be in the green pretty quick. Um, so it's, uh, it, it's, it's an option that you can uh, choose to take um, once we get everything up and running here. And I appreciate everybody's patience and for sticking around. Just Todd marketing. Said, Go ahead. Todd said, are you guys in Canada? Um, I mean, Pillar Apps works worldwide. We have customers from all over. There's there's people that are part of the community from the UK, from Australia, from the, you know the USA and Canada. Um, I don't know if he means that I sound Canadian. Um, because <laughs> I do live in Buffalo, which is about 15 minutes from the border, and I've never gotten that before. So that that's pretty interesting. He could pass for a Canadian. You know. But I'm, but I'm from Georgia. So I'm a what, hockey what, player. Well, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying, you know. Yeah, I figured. And I do weren't. like Canadian beer, so. Well, I'll I mean, you know, yeah, you know, Canadian beer is pretty superior, so you know, that's not hard to like. What's Canadian beer right. besides like Labatt? Yeah, well, Labatt. Nice. <laughs> All right. Let's see what other uh, questions we have here. Um, do you charge clients before their app is accepted to iTunes, or do you have another way to deal with that potential issue? Uh, Mark, what I do is once they agree, you know, they uh, they send over the money uh, through PayPal or FreshBooks or however you want to handle it. Payment processing is a totally you know different can of worms. But what I like to do is just a simple PayPal button, and they can buy 
you know, when they're excited about the app, once they see the app and once it's demoed. And then from there I explain to them, you know, um, this will be live in the Google Play Store within hours. You could start getting driving downloads to that. You know, as far as um, the Apple Store goes, it, it will take a week or two to get accepted and you know, we'll make any changes that are necessary, but a little more uh, caution and effort needs to go into the Apple um, application and submission. Uh, but I, yeah, I do take the payment up front and don't wait until the, the app is submitted because hey, Sean. you know when a prospect is excited Sean. and ready Sean. to go, you don't you don't want to make them wait for Sean. Times. Sean, yes. people are saying the button's working. It's alive. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Wow. That's why I kept wow. saying Sean, right. Sean, 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 Sean. <laughs> that looks like we're finally good to go, and I apologize for the issues here, guys. But if if you do want to be part of the first thirty, you get that bonus package. Um, along with Lee and AJ's package, which they were gracious to uh, to offer up, which is huge. I love mobile ATM. Um, you know, Lee, I was able uh, I was able to pick that up and love that. So right, that, that um, is yeah, a guys, really really cool piece of software. So guys, when you buy and you get your JVZoo email back from JVZoo, there's a button where that you click to go get your stuff. Below that, there's a bonus button. You will see a text. When you click that bonus button, you'll see a text file, and that tells you how to claim your bonuses from us. All right, and I just want to go over the fact that you do get a 30-day guarantee um, if people are on the fence here. Even even though, uh, you know, I think we've, you know, done really well going over what all the options are and, and all the different benefits, you can still kick the tire. You can still go in and check it out. And, you know, if, if you don't make a sale within the first 30 days and make your money back tenfold, you know, then you can just reach out and and we'll do uh, the full money back guarantee. Cool. So hopefully, is that working for everyone now? Can you put it in the chat box at the link? Yeah, people working? people keep keep saying I'm in. I paid. Uh, it's working. Just got it. It worked. It's working for oh, Manjit. Wonderful. Excellent, excellent guys. This is an incredible okay. deal. When 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 you, when you think about what, see, it's cool that you're charter members. Okay. And it's cool that you're getting this before everybody else gets to it and the price goes up because you think about whether you do the monthly thing or whether you do the yearly thing. I mean, what you're paying for this is just, uh, you know, one sale. You, you've, you've covered the year. At, at, after that, it, it, it truly is just all gravy. So, yeah, th this is an, it's an amazing builder. Uh, I had seen some of it, but I had not seen all of it, and, and I'm I'm deeply impressed with it. Anthony not only got it, he got his JVZ receipt as well. Excellent. If you guys buy right now, I just check the stats. If you buy right this second, you're inside the top 30. Cool. But I can't say how long that's going to hold out for. Um, Catherine has yeah, a great yeah, yeah, I just saw Catherine's question. Um, hold on, let me enlarge this here. Um, does it have step-by-step -step directions to get to local business? Yeah, I mean, we went over some things tonight, Catherine, that covered, you know, how to siphon the leads and how to contact them with, a, you know, um, an email. But uh, there's also different modules that will help you sell the local businesses um, in addition to the niche apps as well. That's all covered in the training. And like I said, we're continually adding... Um, we take all the feedback that we get from our Pillar App members to heart because what we're trying to do here is grow this. We're trying to grow this, and our charter members are our most special members. And, um, you know, once we take this to the next level, we want to make sure that it's it's got everything that everyone, um, you know, recommends and requires. So, uh, yeah, there's that's definitely covered in the members area. We don't put anybody on a call with you guys that we know for sure is not going to take care of you guys after you buy. So hop in if you're interested. Neil said it's all good. I got in. I got the bonus. Cool. So, uh, everything finally seems to be working. The bonus um, button doesn't work now. Oh, well. Neil. If the bonus button doesn't work, check back tomorrow. We'll get that fixed, and just the button will be the same, and the link will be the same. Just check back tomorrow. If it's not working, we'll get it figured out. Yeah, yeah I was going to say exactly the same thing. We'll, we'll get Kyle on it to figure it out. Um, we can't do recorded replays because if we do a replay and it goes smooth, everyone will know it's recorded. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, AJ, we, 
Go yeah, ahead. We, we, we have a number of people on this call who are in the uh, master class, and I think it would probably be a good idea next week to take a little time and just talk about dovetailing both of these things. So, guys, you know, we, we were going to talk about upsells in the master class anyway, guys. So if you're in the master class and this interests you, um, let me encourage you to go ahead and get it while you can at the lower price. And we, we will work on how you would dovetail something like this into you know, the structure that we're already creating for you. Now, what other questions can we uh, can we answer here now that we got everything working? And Anthony, I'm pretty sure you're in the first 30, just just basing by when you said you actually got in. Uh, the, the worst thing that's going to happen is I'm going to have to download a list of who bought stuff from Sean and just look at it, and we'll have to do it manually. But we, we will figure it out. Um, I'll answer your question right here. I see one from Manjeet. I hope that's how I pronounce it. Apologies if I, if I butchered that. He goes, what would be a good app uh, to promote for my own mobile app business? What would I put in it? Um, you know, that, that's kind of a tough one, having an app that's promoting a mobile app business. Um, but there's a few things you can do. Um, what I think is really cool is that there's a slot, slot machine game um, that you can customize on Pillar App. And what that means is you can um, put what kind of spin will win, how often that they win, and what the prize will be. So, for instance, you could put it in the app market. You could uh, kind of target business owners. You could target whoever needs a mobile app. And then the winner could get a free mobile app. So that might entice them to download and check out more information and maybe opt in and maybe reach out and contact you. Um, but it keeps it fun. Um, so it makes those businesses that, you know, might be a little mundane. That might people might not just go and search for and download. Um, it kind of entices them to uh, to dive in and to uh, go ahead and download and see if they can win a mobile site or a, a mobile app. Scroll through back through questions because I know there were some I answered kind of off the cuff while you were gone. That, I said I bring your attention. Anthony says the winner gets a date with Anthony. <laughs> hey, we're, we're not trying to kill sales here, Anthony. <laughs> Jeffrey says he's unable to make a credit card payment through PayPal. Uh, Jeffrey, I'm not sure if you're in another country or something, but uh, when I see this from where I am, you can, uh, when, when you're at the actual uh, place where you pay, you can choose to pay through PayPal or there's generally some kind of other button there where you can choose a um, credit card. Like it, it says uh, you're not a member of PayPal usually. That's the way I said it. It, it. it says something like you're not a member of PayPal or you don't want to go through your PayPal account. So it's not giving you that option. Hmm. I think I was... Yeah, go ahead. If you got a great I don't have idea. An to that, no. Yeah, I was I was gonna say I would just uh, refresh my browser and, and back out and try to get back in or, or use another browser. browser. Yeah. All right. Somebody says, how do you showcase the app to the prospect without putting it up on Apple or Google's marketplace? I'm gonna hop in here and answer this. So let's say you're going after a niche, let's say food carts, just to keep everything going continual. What you want to do here is publish an app in both stores, your own, get it approved. That's food store, and you could be for a specific one. It could be for a general one, but I'd probably contact a food cart and say, hey, I'm going to publish your app or a similar app to yours, and then let people download it. They download it, and tell them it's an example. It's a prototype. It's whatever, and then do the push notifications, and then tell them to uninstall the app once they're done so you don't have other people that you sold apps to getting the push notifications. So just get one up there that people can download, play with, that's in the same niche as you're going after. Would you agree with that, Sean? Does that make sense? Sean has bailed on us. He doesn't like us anymore. So, yeah. So whatever niche you're going after, just get one published in the iPhone and the Android store that you can use for an example. Have them download it, play with it. You can send push notifications to them. And once they're done playing with it and they buy, tell them to uninstall it just so they don't keep getting the push notifications from your future prospects would be my suggestion. And that's how I'm going to do it. Yeah, that's a good question. That's that's a good way to handle that. I, I think Sean was handling another payment issue question that we saw pop oh, up. 
Craig needs you to repeat all of that, AJ, because Craig was apparently not listening. All right, Craig, see what happens when you stop listening to me for a minute? You miss this is, it. This is right. just just for you, Craig. <laughs> when it talks to, when everybody's talking about, like, how do I get a preview app for them, like if I build a mock-up and send them, you're not going to be able to build a mock-up per se for each one of them individually. So what you do is whatever niche you're going after, get one approved in the Android and Apple Store, and all you use this one is for the uh, uh, previews. So you tell them to download this app, be like, yours will be similar, it'll be customized to your taste, it'll be customized to your business, it'll be customized with your header and all that stuff, but download this one and I can show you what it does. They download it, then you go in the system and you do a push notification and show them how it pops up. You show them how it looks on their phone. And then once you're done with them, if they buy, tell them to delete it. If they don't buy, don't tell them to delete it. Then you can send push notifications to everybody who was interested, download the sample app, who didn't buy, and you can send push notifications to those people and say, hey, why didn't you buy? That's even better. I like wow. that. Wow, brilliant. That's brilliant. <laughs> I like See, that a lot. I the phone on Friday night and I start going out and shit like that. That's great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in addition to what uh, what AJ said, which was an absolutely phenomenal idea, uh, I mean, you can go ahead and say for not so fast the food truck that we did tonight, what you can do is, you know, first of all, you can use Jing, um, you know, like we use for the photo capture. You can use that for videos as well. And you can just shoot a quick video of their demo app and kind of showcase that. Uh, to them and you can walk it through, you can talk them through all the features and you can really talk directly to your, your prospect and uh, be able to sell them on all the features. Just Very nice app. idea, yeah. And, and yeah, in addition you can send them the, uh, the file which is called an APK file. You can do it through email and just tell them, hey, I'm going to send you a file. You're just going to need to open it through your mobile phone and you'll be able to uh, access that actual app live on your phone. Now I won't have the push notification functionality yet but it will have all of the native features and they'll be able to, you know, click and see and feel how their mobile app will look to all of their users, which is really impressive as well. Yeah, so there's plenty of ways to go about this. Sean, I'm getting the uh, feeling from some of the questions in the chat that we're still having issues between JVZoo and PayPal. Um, guys, what? what we're going to make this happen somehow. We are recording this, so we will have a recording up. We'll have it on a page. You'll look at it, um, and we will make sure that uh, if you're in the first 30, we, we will make sure that you get your bonuses, even if we have to just go through this thing manually and just send it to you. Uh, All right, so everybody's comfortable. Uh, I didn't even run this by Sean, but we'll bump that up tomorrow. Anybody who's on the call tonight, if you buy tomorrow, just send us an email, me and Lee, saying I was on the call last night. You couldn't buy and We'll make sure you get the bonus, even if you're outside the top 30. You okay with that, Sean? Yeah, totally cool with that. I mean, I, I, just, I wanted so to say that. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I wanted to say that, Sean, but I didn't want to. Uh, I know, just see, Lee's like my in. one. I, I don't mind jumping in and imposing on people. Well, see, Sean, <laughs> I knew AJ would say it if I didn't. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> that works. That works. Um, we we can think of a questions? code word. We can think of a code yeah. word. Put the word pillar in your email to us, and then we'll know that you are actually on the webinar. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And uh, for anyone that has any questions regarding uh, access and, and whatnot in the, in the builder, please send me an email personally. I'll sort you out right away. Um, and, again, that personal email goes straight to me. is Sean, S-H-A-U-N, at pillarapps.com, and uh, we'll get you taken care of. Um, thanks, everybody, for, for your patience with everything. And we'll, we'll, we're still we'll here sure to, to answer any questions. Make sure everybody's taken care of. Make sure everybody who's on tonight gets the bonuses, because those are some really strong bonuses, whether you're in the first 30 or not. So, and and uh, you might have to – it might take an email or two for us to figure this out and stuff like that. So it may take a little bit of patience, but but we will uh, we'll make it happen for you. All right. Grace said, uh, when is the price going to change? And uh, basically, Grace, what, what happens is we're waiting until we hit a certain threshold, um, you know, to bring it to a different market. Um, and it, it's done phenomenally in half. So there's really no concrete time frame that we're going to take it off of the Warrior Forum or take it off of what's going on here. So uh, I, I, I don't have a concrete answer until we hit that threshold and we need to ramp up the staff, ramp up the infrastructure, and that comes with a bigger overhead, which means that we'll have to, to take the price to the next level. 
And um, for a builder like this, I mean, there's there's been plenty of others that have paid a lot more and that are very very grateful for uh, for for what we're offering, especially for the price point. So, um, best advice is to jump in now and to uh, to get in for this type of uh, price point and just see if it's for you. Uh, you know, build a few apps, get comfortable with the system, get comfortable with the mastermind. Um, you'd be amazed at how much information you get from the mastermind. I can't tell you how much I've learned from being a part of the mastermind. Um, I mean, I look up to a lot of the people that are part of this community. Um, so it's it, it's really it's something that you need to experience and be a part of uh, to really to, to, to know about uh, pillar apps. So yeah, if you guys wait to see when the price and try to play play price roulette, uh, if it goes up on you, it goes up on you. How much faith me and Lee have in this? If Sean disappeared tomorrow, me and Lee will refund you guys. I mean, if you want it, get in. We'll we'll refund you for you. If Sean disappeared tomorrow, we'll give you our money straight back and take care of it for you. So if you're trying to wait for the price and just try to time it right before the price goes up to buy, uh, you're going to be left in the cold and paying a lot more than everybody else on this call is tonight. Everybody for the bonus, we'll take care of that. Uh, we're on, I already had to troubleshoot some tonight. Uh, we'll talk about that after this call. So if you bought, just go to the download page again tomorrow and we'll have the bonus sorted out tomorrow. Instead of us emailing you. Just go back to the bonus page tomorrow, and it'll be working. All right, I had somebody ask, can customers of our mobile clients download the client's app from a private website or only from the app stores? And, uh, you know, that's an interesting question. You can host the app on your own website. You can, you can have them download the APK and experience limited functionality, but it kind of takes away from it because you won't be able to send push notifications. So it's in your advantage to make sure that it is on the Google Play Marketplace or the Apple Marketplace um, just so you can take advantage of those push notifications which are so valuable uh, but that is an option you, you can have it on your own personal private website and to jump in on top of that you want it on the Google Play and the Apple network because people trust that it's like buying a product from a standalone website compared to buying a product from Amazon even though they're not buying it they're getting it free they trust them, they're used to using that, so go that route. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and Todd actually brought up, uh, what about phone integration? Can you do it with the camera, et cetera? And absolutely, that's a, a really powerful feature with, uh, with this app builder, is that you can integrate the camera, and it's cool because you can put uh, a layer over it. So you can have people take pictures through your app with your logo, with your client's logo or branding. Um, you can do a, a, a faux pas magazine cover and put whatever graphics and titles you want on that, then you can turn it into a viral contest. You can pretty much do whatever you want with that, but um, it utilizes every part of your mobile device. It takes uh, GPS into account, your, your uh, camera's phone, everything. So um, it really does take advantage of all the native features of your phone, which also helps with submission process, process through Apple. Pretty much, let me recap what I said there. Anything that any app and Sean, let me know if I'm wrong. If there's any app out there you guys have used, as far as like local business, why that does something, this can pretty much mimic it or do it better. Correct? Um, in my opinion, absolutely. I mean, that's why this came to market was because it, it kind of fulfilled that void that a lot of uh, other builders were were missing. And like Cy Edge uh, just commented, he said there's no comparison out there when it comes to pillar apps. Uh, when it comes to ease of use, value, functionality, and also Craig chimed in. I'm not going to say the competitor names, but he looked at blank, blank, and several others. The value for what you're giving us, for what you are charging, is ridiculous. Such a great value. This is a no-brainer. Thank you, Cy. Thank you, Craig. Uh, you know, that means a lot. Really appreciate you guys commenting on that and, uh, and seeing the value in this. Good call, Craig. Lee, tomorrow, remind me to cancel my SkyBuilder account. <laughs> this thing, this I've thing had, is I've wrong. I've had it since July and I haven't used it. And I started using yours and I started using that. So remind me to cancel my SkyBuilder account. <laughs> I mean, this is one of those things that's so cool uh, that you could just get a, get, you just get on the back end of it and just start playing for the next five hours. I, I mean, this thing's beautiful. Yeah, Sean hit me up with this offer the other day and showed me it and gave me access to it. I hit him up. I was like, you got to talk to me tomorrow because I've gone down the app black hole. 
yeah. I, w- I was in bed. He's like, dude, can you jump on a call real quick? I got a lot of questions. I'm like, man, I'm with my fiance in bed right now. I can't do it. Sorry. <laughs> that literally happened. I was like, you hop on a call. He goes, I'm in bed with my fiance. I don't think she'd like that. I was like, all right, then we talk tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you want a little menage? <laughs> AJ wanted a little menage. <laughs> All right, we got a question. Will there be any new features added in the future? And absolutely, um, there's there's been a lot of features added in the last month and a half. Um, just going through the process of selecting your app and then customizing it and making sure that it's a, the easiest step-by-step process, that you don't miss anything, that you add your description, um, that there's more templates added that you can choose from to, to really match what you're looking for. And also, every month, regardless of how fast the programmers work, you're going to be getting that new content with uh, lead gen videos, lead gen reports, more legal forms. We add to that every single month. And that's not something we're going to uh, slack on at all. We're uh, going to continue to grow the members area, continue to grow uh, you know, the charter membership. And, uh, and we're here for the long haul, so don't have any worries about that. All right, I see Joe asked. Um, hey guys, can the builder create a to-do list or a calendar type of app? Absolutely, yes. Uh, you can create a to-do list. Uh, you can create a calendar. You can actually have your own dictionary if you want. Uh, I mean, I can go through and, and show you on the site, but there's so many different pages, it's kind of overwhelming. But a to-do list is definitely something you can add. And uh, one of the more successful apps was a basic utility app where it had a to-do list. It had a flashlight where basically it uses the camera's, um, you know, uh, cell phone light on it. And uh, what was the other thing? I, I believe it was a calendar. And that was the app. And it, it did really, really well and got a lot of uh, downloads. So, yeah, you can create the most simplistic app and put it out there. And uh, you'll still get downloads and you'll get people that will want to check it out. Um, let's see. Uh, Roger asked, can I link to the iTunes store and sell music inside an app? Absolutely. Yes, you can definitely link uh, to the iTunes store. In fact, Apple would probably appreciate that and approve you a lot quicker when they see that you're actually linking to something within the Apple platform. And uh, there, there's a way to, uh, to link that up so they can access you know, your music or your other apps. You can upsell different apps. You can upsell podcasts. Um, that's all possible. You can do in-app purchasing. So if you get you know a little more complex with it, you can start selling subscription-based purchases. So if you have a magazine or a newsletter that gets a pretty big following, you can start charging money for that and having people that will pay you month after month for building that. Duke says, will the mobile app work on a pl- phone platform, i.e. BlackBerry? Uh, just forget about BlackBerry. RIM's about to go under, bought off. Do not worry about BlackBerry. That's my answer, Sean. You can go further into that if you want. But Yeah, no, uh, Duke, right now um, we're, we're supporting. We're one of the only mobile app builders that supports not only Android, but Apple and Amazon. So you can put Kindle books on there. You can do Amazon apps, which is even more exposure. As far as BlackBerry goes, right now we're seeing the decline. And BlackBerry just isn't a part of the equation at this point. And uh, I don't see it becoming anything prevalent as time goes on. So right now, uh, BlackBerry is not, not a part of the equation. No, it should be. Amazon apps are exploding, though. Yeah, for sure. And uh, Tony said, do you have keyword research tool for the App Store? Um, well, I'll tell you what, Tony. We do have training in the members area that shows you how to lock down highly searched for keywords for all mobile devices. And that includes cell phones, tablets. Um, so there is training in the members area that shows you how to go through and find those keyword rich um, targets that you can go after for your apps. All right, let's see, what other questions do we have here? Uh, Dave said something about the using apps for magazines and newsletters. Uh, Dave, that could be a whole new another webinar. We're not going to dive too deeply into that. 
but I'll touch a little bit. Say you get a restaurant that has a chain restaurant that has 15, 30 locations. You could do like a monthly newsletter that has uh, coupons in it each month, and the chain could send them out, and you could have them charge X amount per month for it. It's one example of using it for local, but other than that, it's above and beyond what you guys are really going to be targeting. So. All right. Um, now we have Todd that said, how can we preview our apps to clients as we build them? I think we kind of touched on this earlier a little bit, Todd, but I'll touch on it again. Um, there's a few different ways. I really like what um, AJ said about it, where basically you build a mock app for whatever niche you're targeting. Um, you know, whether it's locksmiths or food trucks or lawyers or whatever you're going into, and you build out a fully functional, robust app and have them download it on their smartphone. Say, hey, you know, this is what we can build for you, only customized to your business. And then, you know, if they buy, delete the app and have your app on there. If not, you can send them push notifications. That was that was a huge breakthrough.